the shift is just way too long and I added the cup holder onto the end of my armrest and if I have a big cup in there it just comes so close to uh, hitting stuff off so I wanted to get a little sh short shifter and hopefully decrease the throw and get it away from everything a little bit so <laughs> So, this is what we're putting in. Uh, apparently you can get it from BD Power. Uh, I'm not sure if I got it from them or from Amazon. I really don't remember. Uh, short shifter kit. Comes with some bolts. Some RTV. It's got, looks like a spacer. All right, so the first thing it tells you to do is remove eight millimeter outer boot things. Well, they're actually Phillips and um, there's no actual socket to them. I pulled this one out, as you can see, it's not a socket. So um, that's that, but the first thing it did not tell that we should have done is remove this shift knob um, actually kind of got it loose already it took both hands so um, I'm gonna pull this off all right so all right so um, nothing there that is threaded so it just lefty loosey off of that all right now I'm gonna go ahead and pull all these Phillips off that say they're eight millimeter and then it says that I have one eight millimeter under there Here, but these things are hard to get out. Yep, another one in there. And then I can do this thing just looks like it just pulls up. Hopefully, I didn't just break that. But there's one right there as well. So I'm gonna pull that. There's one there. So I'll pull those four out, and I think this thing should come up after I pull that off. All right, so I pulled all those screws out. The front just kind of pulls up like that, and it slides off the tip. This little tab right here was under that, so just kind of make sure you pull the front off first. All right. out of the way all right so you're gonna want to use an extension because the cup holder is a little too deep and that is definitely gonna be too deep if you don't have a at least a small extension all right so I just kind of realized for all of this to come out I'm gonna have to take this shift knob off too so that's the same thing True. The boot. Pull the boot right up. Um, apparently, I have shit in there. Alright, throw that boot right there. Alright, that gives me better access to this and the other side. So, I'm gonna pull these off with two hands. Alright, so we got all those out. This, oh, just pulls, apparently. Alright, 
so here's the part I missed um, right here that I used a three-quarter wrench um, this little thing that you can twist this arm off so I realize once I get this boot loosened how the hell is it slipping over that fat arm One, two, three. Don't look like there's one there. So just total six. So pull those guys off too. Alright. So now I got the six bolts out. I had to kind of get a screwdriver under here to kind of pry this guy up. Um, I don't know if this thing previously had work. Because I'm not the original owner. But it was kind of stuck. So, alright. So, third boot off. According to the directions, these are 10 millimeter. So, I gotta pull up those four. Alright, so, I'm really not sure why the directions and everything say millimeters, because that shit does not fit. This is actually a 3 eighths. So, I'm gonna pull these off. All right, so, oh, that kinda just fell out. I was gonna say, now's a good time to make sure that it's in neutral. Um, kinda should've done that before, but um, this is in neutral. You can see the tower just popped itself out. So, what's that? All right. So, legend says, pull up this rubber, and these pieces are T25. So, I'm gonna loosen those four. All right. So, we're pulling the dust cover off. Lay that down. This next piece, the HD, is facing the passenger. Right. And I got this big ol' washer, two washers that go in there. Oh, there's actually quite a few. Four of them. So anyway, we'll leave those stacked. All right, and then we come back in here, and I had a little piece of tape here um, that was on there. I don't know. You guys might want to mark where things go, but this I guess just pulls right out with two hands. All right, so here's the new BD one, and here's the OEM one. I'm guessing, gotta pull these little things off and just transfer it all over. Pull that guy off. Uh, oh shit! It's so hard to do everything one-handed. So, and this guy. Need to pry it with a screwdriver or use two hands. Say so again, two hands wins. Um, and this guy should just push this on. All right, so that snaps back on that one. Um, let's set this guy aside. I'm gonna drop it in the same position. It was. Again. Maybe two hands. Alright. So that guy's seated. I'm gonna take these four washers that I just slid. Go. Stack those guys in there. Take this guy. 
the HD was facing the passenger side. Alright, so then the hardware that I threw in there. T25s back in these four corners and just go reverse everything. Alright, so got those four back in. Um, be careful, these little guys in the corner here pop out, so don't want to lose those. Um, so I'm going to take this little dust cover. Slipper back on. Should just kind of press on, I'm guessing. Alright, there's the amp. Alright, so it says. Apply fresh silicone to both sides of aluminum spacer and place on transmission. So, I'm gonna put it both ends of that and put it on right now. Alright, so now it's on both ends. I'm going to carefully try and line it up as close as I can to the tower. Oh shit. So, you gotta make sure you pull that corner thing out. Alright, so then it says to put the isolator on it. Um, these little things that pop out slip, actually slip into there. So, I'm just going to put it on all at once and put the hardware through those holes and drop it down since it came with longer hardware. Alright, so, I got a 316 um, Allen key. Just gonna tighten these up. Um, it doesn't say to go diagonal, but I think it's probably pretty smart to do that when you do anything. I guess everything in reverse again. <laughs> so that's kind of where that left off, but gotta assume that it's gotta be that boot. All right, so this guy only goes on one way. Um, to match the holes, mine has this weird little indent facing passenger side. So that's, there's that. cinch those down so all right um so yeah i'm gonna bolt this thing back down so i got those bolts remember it's one two three four um i guess i can throw these guys in there to get them out of the way um, i don't know if any of you guys but i freaking broke all the teeth on this thing. I was kind of hoping I could have a friend 3D print one or something for me. Freaking nice. Um, so that shit's on there. Uh, let's get this boot back on. Oh. Got this massive, massive arm. I might see if I can get like a beer tap or something. That's like kind of a arm slash shift knob. Shift boot. Das boot. Remember the tab goes down under. And then I had all these screws around the edges there. Right, so got those six screws back in. Um, pop. I think it faced this way. Not really sure. Kind of looks.
looks like the clips are on the same spot, so I'm not sure if it really matters. So that just presses in like that. And then you can twist the shift knobs back. So let's see how much this actually shortened it. Wow, 